Hello everybody, this is Dr. Imran and welcome to ECEP channel. Voltage divider rule is uh, regarded as the time saving uh, technique uh, in the circuit analysis course and in this course the electrical engineering fundamental. I will apply VDR in order to find a voltage drop across a resistor in a series combination of N resistors. I then check an example and apply VDR in order to further clarify about uh, it. Kirchhoff voltage law is uh, a prerequisite topic for uh, this video and for this I recommend to refer to lecture 5 of this course. So let's watch this video and get some valuable information about this topic. The voltage divider rule. In order to understand about voltage divider rule, we consider this circuit. It consists of two resistors R1 and R2 connected in series, while the two resistances are also connected in series to the applied voltage having voltage V. V1 is the voltage drop across the resistor R1 and V2 is the voltage drop across the resistor R2. This is the polarity of the applied voltage V plus and minus while the polarity of a voltage drop V1 is plus and minus with respect to the applied voltage source and the polarity of V2 voltage is plus and minus and this is also with respect to the applied voltage V. So if we want to find V1 or V2 we need to find the loop current I using the Kirchhoff voltage law. Once we know about the current I, then according to Ohm's law, V1 can be equal to I into R1 and V2 can be equal to I R2. So here you see that uh, you need to do two or three steps in order to find V1 and V2. But using the voltage wider rule, you can only use these two formulas, this one and this one, in order to find the voltage drop V1 and voltage drop V2. According to the voltage divider rule, V1 is equal to R1 or R1 plus R2 into the applied voltage V and V2 is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 into the applied voltage V. So it is uh, very clear from the two equations that if the resistors are connected in series then only a single formula can be used in order to find the voltage drop across any resistors in a series combination of uh, resistors. If there is series combination of N resistors here as shown in this figure R1, R2 up to Rn, then we can uh, find the voltage uh, drop across kth resistors as shown by this formula. Vkth is equal to or kth over R1 plus R2 plus Rn into the applied voltage V. So these uh, three expressions clearly shows that if uh, there is a series combination of resistors, then uh, you can find the voltage drop across any resistors in this series combination by using only a single formula. Uh, in this PPT, we try to understand about how the voltage divider rule can be derived. We consider the same circuit as it was in the previous PPT. It consists of series combination of R1 and R2 resistances and connected to the applied voltage source B. We first find the current I as shown here and uh, in order to find current I we need uh, to apply the Kirchhoff voltage law around uh, this uh, closed loop and according to the Kirchhoff voltage law some of the voltage rise is equal to some of the voltage drop. Uh, if we apply Kirchhoff voltage law around this closed loop uh, then the KVL expression can be shown as V is equal to V1 plus V2. V is the voltage rise in this closed loop while V1 and V2 are the voltage drops across this closed loop. According to Ohm's law, V1 can be written as IR1, V2 can be written as IR2. We take the I common from the above expression and hence 
I can be obtained is shown by this expression I is equal to V over R1 plus R2. We know that according to Ohm's law V1 is equal to I R1. So we put the value of I here in this equation which is V over R1 plus R2 into R1 and that is equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 into the applied voltage V. So this is the voltage divider rule and according to this rule the voltage drop across the resistor R1 can be shown by this formula R1 over R1 plus R2 into the applied voltage V. We know that V2 is equal to IR2 V2 is the voltage drop across this resistor R2. We put the value of I here that is equal to V over R1 plus R2 into R2 and this expression is now equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 into the applied voltage V. And this is the voltage divide rule which shows that the voltage drop R V2 across R2 can be shown as R2 over R1 plus R2 into V. So it is clearly shown that using only a single formula you can find the voltage drop across any resistors in the series combination of N resistors. We consider one example in order to further clarify about the voltage divider rule. Determine Vx in the circuit of figure using VDR. Let's discuss about this uh, circuit before we find Vx using VDR. It consists of series combination of 4 ohm resistor, 6 ohm resistor, 3 ohm resistors and applied to the voltage source having 12 volt. This is the Vx and if you see here this is node actually and this can be the reference node. So in order to find Vx using voltage divider rule we need to first combine the 6 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistor using this expression 6 into 3 over 6 plus 3 is equal to 2 ohm. After combining the two resistances 6 ohm and 3 ohm resistor into a single ohm resistor the above circuit can be redrawn as shown below. 4 ohm resistor is now in series combination to 2 ohm resistors and this is Vx. Now this circuit is uh, suitable in order to apply voltage divider rule. It is because 4 ohm and 2 ohm resistors are connected in series and the 12 volt source is applied to the series combination of 4 ohm and 2 ohm resistor. Hence Vx can be shown by this expression. Vx is equal to 2 over 2 plus 4 into 12. 2 ohm resistor is the resistor across which we are going to find the voltage drop and that is Vx over 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is the series combination of 4 and 2 ohm resistor and 12 is the voltage of this applied source. From the above expression we can find Vx which is equal to 4 volt. This is the end of uh, this video. Make sure to subscribe, like and share the EACAP channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.